Namaste everyone. Today we are going to be talking about top 10 anime that deserve more. By that I mean more seasons or a better adaptation. So let's get to it. Bitum. Bitum is a 2012 anime adaptation of the manga of the same name. It follows a 22 year old neat unemployed man Ryota who happens to be one of the world's top player of a combat video game known as Bitum. He is then sold off to a terrorist organization by his mother who then forces him to participate in a risky survival game where he has to fight for his life using force, strategy, equipments or whatever is at his disposal. The anime only covers about 50 chapters of the manga so it's begging for the completion of the story. Dead Man Wonderland Dead Man Wonderland is a 2011 anime adaptation of the manga of the same name. It is a dystopian thriller which follows the tale of Ganta Igarashi, a middle schooler, also the survivor of the great earthquake that destroyed most of Tokyo whose life gets overturned when a floating person covered in blood and armor floats into his classroom and slaughters the entire class and also inserts a crystal into his chest. With Ganta being the main suspect and the evidence being altered, he is sentenced to death at Dead Man Wonderland. It's a decent anime but due to various reasons like anime ditching important characters and Manglove studio being bankrupt got cancelled and the story desperately needs a continuation. Gantz 2004 anime adaptation of the manga of the same name Gantz is a sci-fi action psychological horror anime. The story follows Kei Kurono and Masaru Kato, two high school students once childhood friends who die squashed by a train when attempting to save a homeless person. Then they are revived by Gantz in an apartment where they are told to participate in an alien hunting game. And if they survive the game, they are allowed to go home as well as perks if they score better points. The majority chunk of the story from manga is still left to be adapted. However, the ending may be a little. <clears throat> still, the story needs to be completed. Bills above. A 2011 anime adaptation of the manga of the same name, Beelzebub, is an action comedy anime revolving around Oga Tatsumi, a high school delinquent nicknamed as the Ogre or Devil by his peers, who is selected as the parent for the son of the Devil King, Beelzebub, who is responsible for the destruction of humanity as well as the entire earth. Beelzebub didn't end properly both anime and the manga, even the manga was rushed towards the end whereas the anime didn't even cover the ending of the manga. Even though too silly at time, I found Beelzebub adequately funny and feel that it deserves a proper ending. Even through a OVA would be quite nice. Bakano Bakano is a 2007 anime adaptation of the light novel of the same name. Told in non-linear format, the story entails three seemingly unconnected events. Concerning bottles of immortality elixirs being passed around by gangsters, a monster murdering gangsters who were attempting to hijack the train called, I'm not even joking, it's called Flying Pussycat. Yes, it's Flying Pussycat. And lastly, investigation of a missing man by his daughter and some gangsters. Bakano is a very good anime with proper pacing and narrative and just abruptly ends when the story is going good. It desperately needs a continuation. Bleach at the time of its release was a juggernaut and one of the big four headers of Sonen Jump. So I don't think I have to tell. Still, uh, the manga has been complete for almost a year and even more. And still, if you don't know about Bleach, then well, I'll tell you a little about it. It's about a teenage boy, Ichigo, who is able to see ghosts ever since his childhood who accidentally stumbles into the world of Shinigami, Hollows and Lost More after a fateful encounter with a female Shinigami. Bleach anime however was discontinued for some reason and even the manga was rushed somehow, I don't know, somehow. Still the anime adaptation could do justice to the author's dream so let's hope for more Bleach. Gangsta. Gangster is a 2015 anime adaptation of the manga of the same name. It tells the story of two assassins slash mercenary who do the deeds. By that I mean deeds that are impossible for normal human beings, for police force as well as the mob. 
the story revolves around two best friend Warwick and Nicholas who is tagged by the way live in the town of Ergastulum filled with mafia thugs corruption prostitutes yes prostitutes to the brim i simply love the manga and feel that it needs a complete adaptation of the whole story with early series being left incomplete due to the bankruptcy of the studio manglove as mentioned earlier responsible for the anime series so i think it needs a completion and if you haven't by now please like share and subscribe and do comment your favorite series in the comment section below thank you claymore claymore is a 2007 anime adaptation of the manga of the same name claymore is a dark fantasy medieval period piece by the way and i just love my dark fantasy manga if you didn't know by now sorry it follows the tale of female armored knight like warriors known as claymores who get shape shifting as well as strength abilities from a demonic power known as yoki and they are they are enforced to kill yoma a humanoid shape shifting creatures powered by the same yoki set in a fictional medieval period it is a, a tale of adventures and little bit of sorrow i guess the story of claymore and its art style progresses along with the pace of the story the story of claymore and its art style progresses along with the narrative and the anime adaptation the earlier one that is ends just before the plot begins to accelerate with its cancellation and still lacking a renewal causing doubt for its anime adaptation to continue and i hope for the continuation of the anime adaptation death parade Death Parade is a 2015 original anime TV series produced by Madhouse. Spawned from a short film named Death Billiards, Death Parade follows the story of arbiters, individuals responsible to judge a person's fate after death, whether they deserve to go to heaven or to the void, depending upon the memories of the recently deceased as well as the personality trait or attitude shown by the deceased after they are forced to participate in the death games. that vary with the deceased the series mainly focuses on decim a newly appointed arbiter and a bar tender to to the quindecim bar and chiyuki a human with no memory regarding her identity and her life the first season even though very good leaves a lot of space to be explored but the possibility of second season is almost 0% So let's just pray to God man let's just pray Let's just pray I don't know we can do anything other than that let's just pray Berserk and I know that it has a 2016 adaptation and we're not but it is just simply garbage yes i said it it's trash it's complete fucking trash i know the story is good as it follows the manga and even then the story doesn't completely follow the manga properly with the timelines being jumped and character introductions being changed but the animation is just the worst i've never seen anything as horrible as the borzak 2016 adaptation with that horrible clang sound every time the sword moves it is just nauseating at best with source material being one of my most favorite seinen manga of all time it deserves the best anime adaptation treatment if not the best at least on the level of 1997 adaptation dear god 2016 adaptation is just the worst and with this ends our video So leave a comment if you think any other anime series deserves more in your opinion also like share and subscribe and thank you for watching sign up